Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. And if you're tuning in virtually, welcome to Oracle TV and welcome to the countdown to our OCI keynote with Clay McGurick. And to kick things off, I'm here with Roy Baker, Executive Vice President of GE Aerospace and one of our cloud customers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. Ken. We're excited to have you. Now to kick things off, can you tell us a bit about GE Aerospace? Absolutely. I think I may have to go back in time a little bit. Most okay. people know about GE right. or the General Electric Company, but actually in April of this year, we completed a spinoff right. of GE Vernova, and last year we spun off GE Healthcare. So now GE Aerospace is what remains from the once General Electric Company. Wow. And at GE Aerospace, we are a world leader in uh, engineering, manufacturing, and servicing jet engines both for our commercial and civil market, as well as for our defense customers. Okay, so knowing that history, knowing what you do, what are some of the unique challenges of running a business like GE Aerospace? So we do not have a lack of challenges. We have <laughs> several, several opportunities to say the least, but I think maybe chief among, um, among them is our supply chain constraints. So when we think about the sophisticated technology of a jet engine, um, we have rare earth materials that we have to get. We have to work with a very deep supply chain. Okay. And like many companies after COVID, as well as uh, post pandemic, we've actually struggled keeping up with demand. Okay. So we have a great product, we have a great backlog, but being able to match that demand with supply has been a struggle. So it's a good problem to have, but we do need to work on improving our supply chain. Another key challenge I would probably point out is um, cybersecurity. Okay. So just by the nature of our product, the fact is we have interested parties that would like to take our technology, uh, frankly steal it, so we have to protect it. Right. So when it comes to um, a, a constant challenge, cybersecurity is something we have to be very aware of day in, day out. Okay, so how is Oracle helping in overcoming these two main challenges, improving your supply chain and cybersecurity? So yeah, I, first and foremost, um, it starts with partnership. Oracle, throughout our company separation, throughout the pandemic, Oracle has been a partner um, where other, frankly, other companies and partners have taken advantage of those situations. Right. Oracle's actually partnered with us and they've actually delivered solutions that's enabled us to move quick. And so when I think about our supply chain problems, one of the key things that Oracle can do and provide is supply chain solutions. Mm -hmm. So we're moving into our ERP platform, into the SCM platforms. Their solutions, or the Oracle solutions, are actually unlocking capability for us, which is critical. Yeah. And then the other part on cybersecurity, the nice thing about the partnership with Oracle is that they understand how complex doing business can be with the U.S. Department of Defense. Right. And so that understanding and appreciation uh, actually enables us to move quicker and faster with security to right. actually protect the company and our product from threat actors and other entities. I'm sure hearing from the CIA yesterday in Safra's keynote. Really that neat, yeah, that was, yeah. A, that was really neat. That hit home for you. Um, okay, so you talked about uh, you run on ERP, SCM, any other parts of the business running on Fusion applications? Actually, yes, um, and without going into too much detail, the, the GE Aerospace portfolio, we're divided into several P&Ls. Okay. We actually have an entire business. Our additive Calibrum business runs on Fusion. Okay. Full stop. Everything wow. is in Fusion, which is amazing. It's a great um, opportunity for us to learn Fusion, and now we're looking to expand it into the remaining parts of GE Aerospace. We have actually um, started our Fusion journey okay. on the commercial side of our business. We have a couple of applications. Uh, one is capacity management. Okay. So going back to our supply chain issues, we're trying to look at our demand and our supply, and we use the Oracle solution and capacity to help us do that. We also are using Fusion for customer master data. Mm -hmm. So trying to have a single source of truth for all of our data from our customers, we're using that with Fusion. And then we're most excited about um, next year, we plan to move our direct procurement, our entire direct procurement function and capability into Oracle Fusion. And so we have that as sort of the, the kickoff and then we've got much more after that. 
Now, I love what you said there um, on, on talking about the unified suite. We heard just, just in Steve Miranda's keynote, we heard um, about Caesars and DHL actually talking about the importance of a unified suite and having all your data in one place. What is the importance of having that unified suite of applications for GE Aerospace? So, again, the historical nature of GE unfortunately means we have a lot of legacy point of use applications yes. that has resulted in a, a legacy spaghetti, right? We have so many applications and, and we've built integrations to those. It takes time, too much time, to get the data from one spot to another. So as we're moving into a consolidated application footprint, it provides simplicity, first of all. It actually reduces the overhead and management, right. and it brings data quicker to the people who need it on a daily basis. So as we continue to consolidate and simplify, there are many benefits, but that's, that's just a few. Can you actually talk a bit about um, some of the qualitative or quantitative benefits, um, if you have some specific, specific KPIs um, that GE Aerospace have, has experienced since moving to Fusion uh, applications? Absolutely. So. I'll try to give two examples. Perfect. One on the business side, so really enabling our businesses. So again, I talked about our supply chain concerns and how we're trying to get better at that. A key component of our supply chain is our material resource plan, and it's a, it's a massive um, job that runs every night. It looks at all of our inventory. What do we have on hand? What do we have in finished goods? What do we have in raw material? What are we ordering from our suppliers? What do our customers need? That plan runs every night. And it can take almost the entire night, several wow. hours. Wow. As we moved our EBS instance into Oracle OCI, we actually saw the, 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 the cycle time for that plan reduced by almost 40%. So just by moving into Oracle's cloud infrastructure, we've automatically improved the performance of one of our key capabilities inside of the supply chain. And then on the IT side, you know, frankly, we're still adjusting to what it means to be in the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you know, we, by the nature of our business and our industry, it took us a while to get to the cloud. Okay. But now that we're here, we're learning, and we actually learned just the other day, we had a comparison between a legacy upgrade with infrastructure versus a cloud infrastructure upgrade. And our legacy infrastructure, it's going to take months, thousands of dollars, a lot of our people involved. In the cloud, it's going to take literally days. Mm. So there's a huge improvement just from the IT side to help our company be more efficient and more effective. And ultimately, you know, this allows you guys to do more with less, to keep up with pace, like you said, to keep up with your demand and uh, to, to, to keep at it, to keep being successful for long-term success, right? That's right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This is a great conversation. Thanks so much for being with us, Ray. Thank you.